It's 6 o'clock on Monday, the 30th of December 2019. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Oliver, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. Well, after five months of deliberation, the Constitutional Court of Albania has now considered President Ilir Meta's request to declare the project of building a new theater on the ruins of the old building unconstitutional. On January 22nd, the Constitutional Chamber will discuss the demolition of the National Theater and the construction of the new building. But before the day of the hearing, the court requested a written report from the institutions involved. The Municipality of Tirana, the Council of Ministers, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Culture, and the Parliament of Albania have a deadline until January 22nd to endorse the new theater project with their written arguments. The Constitutional Court seance in the Counseling Chamber will be open door, which is expected to end more than a year of debates between Tirana's artists and the municipality over whether or not to demolish the National Theater. Since Parliament approved the project, the artists have defended the theater by staying physically on site for 24 hours in the theater building while also protesting in front of the City Hall on Monday for a lack of transparency in the institutions. Well, the President of the Republic of Albania has approved the 2020 budget, but with some reservations. The arguments on the decree says that the, fir the firm was given to prevent the implementation of measures to repair the effects caused by the November 26 earthquake. However, the head of state draws attention to the fact that economic growth has slowed down in 2019, with the head of state saying that the projected economic growth of 4.1% is unrealistic and as a consequence demands that this situation be reflected in the budget. He also adds that the situation in the countries of the region and the EU should also be reflected, which is indicated by the decline of remittances coming from abroad. According to him, net exports have had a negative impact due to the growing deficit during the second quarter of this year. Another point of concern is the downward trend of investments shrinking by 0.9 percent in the second quarter of this year, while foreign direct investment had also shown a downward trend in the second quarter of 2019. For Meta, the energy sector has also shown financial weaknesses. And meanwhile, for the 2020 budget, according to Meta, it does not reflect any progress towards improving fiscal policy. Instead, it is further expanding the exemptions and differentiating tax rates and creating more room for public spending. Not to be overlooked are the PPPs, whose risk, according to Meta, adds uncertainty while injecting capital into the investment corporation, financing the energy sector's losses and increasing the cost of public debt. And another potential risk is the increase in the public debt stock itself due to the increase in its cost. The Democratic Party has denounced the municipality of Tirana for the lack of investment in schools and kindergartens in the capital, leaving them at the mercy of fate. Yordia Tabaku and Clevis Balio from schools in the Kombinat area who were affected by the earthquake underline the fact that despite the municipality collecting education taxes, it does not turn them into school services. We are talking about 22 million euros that should have been invested in schools and kindergartens in Tirana. And although the consequences of the earthquake were not as severe as in the worst affected areas, it did have the largest number of schools affected by the earthquake, Tabaku said. According to DP representatives, the initiative Adopt a School, part of which is the Muzin Kokolari School, was just propaganda. Meanwhile, Kombinat still remains one of the most affected areas in the capital after the November 26th earthquake. New Year's Eve up in Kukas has been welcomed by Mother Nature with a fresh blanket of snow. Snowfall was recorded in the city in altitudes above 900 meters. Icy roads and loose gravel are causing difficulties for moving vehicles on many rural roads. In the municipality of Kukas, there are difficulties along the Streze Shachivets axis, which is difficult to cross. Up in Tropoya, there are difficulties on the road which connect the northern city with Lekbibai administrative unit, as in some segments there are landslides. Furthermore, Lake Bibai and four other villages in Malzi of Kukis are reported to be experiencing trouble with their electricity. According to the civil emergency headquarters, all national roads are passable, while conditions on rural roads are no longer of concern. The prefect of Kukis said that the municipality had taken appropriate measures to keep the prefect's roads open. Slippery roads are the main concern as temperatures are forecasted to remain low and police are urging all drivers to stay alert. In the north and northeast of the country, more snowfall is expected into the latter half of this week.
Six people are living in freezing conditions, praying every day not to have any more earthquakes. We went in tents and even there they told us to get out, so we came back home, said one resident. The residents complained that they have no place to go because of the winter season, and it's difficult to stay even in tents that they were provided. My wife suffers from low tension, without a job, and without any home, and without any income. We have been sleeping outside, said one man. Even though New Year's Eve is here, the preparations still haven't started, but the festive desire is not lacking. We haven't done anything. There is no new year for us, stated another resident. Like many others, their call is for the state to help them with a house, not with a rental bonus. New Year's Eve has seen an increase in the flow of movement through the country's border points, reaching its peak right before the Christmas holiday. The largest cross-border movements have been recorded at the border with Greece. In the last 24 hours, 4,900 citizens have entered Kapstitsa, while another 3,779 have left. In order to cope with the influx and avoid the lines of traffic, there are seven operational counters at this border. While in Kakavia, 11,097 citizens have been recorded in transit, 6,989 of them at the entrance of the border and 4,108 of them at the exit. Over the past 24 hours, five ferries have entered the port of Duras, four from Bari and one from Ancona. 3,548 passengers and 985 vehicles have arrived by sea. Duras is also an entrance for Kosovo Albanians who then take the roads back to their homes in Kosovo. The queue of vehicles was also witnessed on Sunday afternoon at the Morin border point. But there have also been Albanians from Albania who have chosen to spend their holidays in neighboring Kosovo. Border police say they are taking increased measures to cope with the influx of inbound traffic on the last day of the year as well. In the first days of January, however, the flow of returning migrants to the countries where they live and work is anticipated, officials say. Well, this year at the strike of midnight on New Year's Day, there will be fewer fireworks and bright explosives lighting up the sky. In the last two weeks, police have been conducting raids across multiple municipalities, which show that Tirana, Duras, Pogradets, and Vlora are among the most problematic in terms of illicit trafficking of pyrotechnics. 14,055 capsules and 511 fireworks have been seized from the 16th of December until last Sunday. In just one week, 4,345 4, subjects were checked, while this Sunday, 445 capsules were seized in Pog, uh, Pogradets and Kuchova. Four people were put under investigation and three others were fined. Police are also on high alert regarding road control. Starting this Monday and into early January, all major road axes in the country will be monitored with radar and enhanced scanners. A special focus will also be placed on preventing drunk drivers. Furthermore, police say there is an increase in traffic throughout the country due to the return of migrants to their families. Finally tonight, the adoption of the law on Albanian symbols in Montenegro was welcomed by citizens and political parties throughout, throughout Albania. But the representatives of the Albanian municipality of Tuzi, Nikol Tsamai, urged such enthusiasm to be held. The reasons, according to him, deal with the long wait for the right guaranteed by the Constitution to other issues which still remain unsolved. What is most important to me is that the acts and laws on Albanians have been suspended and, and have decided on several times in a row. Samai says that this year we are leaving behind Albanians, which can be historic, as they can now take the management of the Tuzi municipality. They now have 4.4 million euros for their budget, which according to Samai, will serve to change the Highlands face. It will also help open all corners of the Highland to more investments. 2020 is an election year in Montenegro, and in order to have a more dignified representation in the assembly, Samai sees the necessity of uniting the Albanian population. The possibility to unite the Albanian political entity is more than likely, and this is proved with the town of Tuzi. It proves what Albanians are capable of doing altogether. And there is also criticism for the official of Tirana here. Whenever something is spoken about us, it must be said that Albanians do not need to be inferior to Podgorica. Even the Albanians in the minority and no, are no longer the Albanians in the regime and are now a superpower. Today in the Montenegrin parliament, Albanians are presented with one deputy and thanks to the ruling coalition, they want to win over the minority ministry and the deputy speaker of the assembly. 
And that's news across the country today. Thank you so much for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and have a good night. Thank you.